My mom is so neurotic that she gives Xanax anxiety. You know? Like, and, and, and like they never liked my ex-husband, so they turn any conversation I have with them into a fear of something tragic happening, and they relate it back to my divorce. You bought whole milk? Your father can't drink whole milk. He has COPD. He'll choke on the fat from the milk. He won't be able to breathe. He'll have to rush him to the hospital. He'll die. We'll have to sell the house. We'll all be out in the street. All because you married your poor ex-husband. You moved back home and you bought whole milk. <laughs> people don't understand why I celebrate divorce. You know, they're like, Michelle, it just it leaves a bad taste in people's mouths. So does sperm. <laughs> you know, but we have to do it. I'm also a teacher. Yeah. I teach theater to middle school students, which is, which is like waterboarding, right? Is that, is it, did I have to did I say the right thing? It's like, you're, it's a hostage situation when you're teaching middle school students, right? And you're not allowed to say no to children now because they'll stab you, right? Pandemic parenting, that's not, you know, I'm just, I'm the slave for my child and I do what it says so I can make it out alive when they're 18. But <laughs> you're not, you're supposed to use positive reinforcement to get them to do what you'd like them to do, like sit in a chair. <laughs> I had a student who kept putting, a seventh grade boy kept putting his hands on a girl, right? And I was like, hey, hey, Chris, <laughs> hey, it's me, your teacher. <laughs> Thanks for looking at me. Could you keep your hands and feet to yourself? <laughs> Chris, it's me again. Yeah, thanks. Um, can just second time I'm telling you. Second, second little alert. <laughs> Please keep your hands and feet to yourself. Okay. <laughs> That's it, Chris. I'm writing you up. His response. Wrap me up. Wrap me up, wrap me up. Can you imagine going to your boss who asked you to do something and create a TikTok dance of wrap me up, wrap me up. Just don't understand. I teach kids with special needs and I date men with special needs. Yeah. I'm always fine, like I'm always falling in love with the guy who's in his midlife crisis, but not even like at, 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 in the middle, he's always at the start. He hasn't even put his hands down on the start line. He's looking over, he's like, oh, divorcee who posts pictures of herself on IG doing high kicks? How are you doing? Hey, I just, I'm really confused, Michelle. Can I just lay my head on your chest like a soft pillow while I figure it out? Yeah, figure it out, right? And I, I, don't, I feel like when I first started dating after divorce, I was very like, I believed everything a man said about his ex, you know? Oh my God, she looked through your phone? I would never do that. Now, when I meet a guy on a date and I'm like into it and he's like, you know, my ex is crazy. I'm like, what did you do to drive that woman to a mental illness? <laughs> right? Thank you, because you know, like, we, we all have that. You know, even men, they have it. It's called jealousy. Yeah, I'm a jealous. I just don't want you wearing anything above your ankle in front of a man, of a woman, a living object, a rock, you know? But I'm a jealous. What do I got to be jealous of? Look at me. It's like the fire alarm at school. Kids know they're not supposed to pull the alarm. But there's always that one kid. <laughs> I want to pull the alarm. I want to see what happens. <laughs> I date that guy. And, and then when you, and then when they pull it, they're surprised that mass chaos has ensued. Why, I was just sleeping when there's just sex. I was dating a cop who said that. So I did what any Italian girl would do. I threw a water bottle at him. Woo! He looked at me and he's like, yo, you just hit a police officer. What do you have to say for yourself? And I looked at him and I was like, wrap me up, wrap me up. Thanks guys. <laughs>